I am honored to return here today to pay tribute to the men and women of a generation who defied every danger. Planes rumbled down runways. Gliders and paratroopers slipped through the sky. Giant screws began to turn on an armada that looked more like ships than sea. And more than 150,000 souls set off toward this tiny sliver of sand upon which hung more than the fate of a war, but rather the course of human history. We tell this story to bear what witness we can to what happened when the boys from America reached Omaha Beach. It was here, on these shores, that the tide was turned in that common struggle for freedom. But in the annals of history, the world had never seen anything like it. But America's claim, our commitment to liberty, our claim to equality, our claim to freedom, and to the inherent dignity of every human being, that claim is written in the blood on these beaches. And it will endure for eternity. None of that would have happened without the men who were willing to lay down their lives for people they'd never met and ideals they couldn't live without. Here, we don't just commemorate victory, as proud of that victory as we are. We don't just honor sacrifice, as grateful as the world is. We come to remember why America and our allies gave so much for the survival of liberty at this moment of maximum peril. We have to honor those who carry forward that legacy recognizing that people cannot live in freedom unless free people are prepared to die for it.